watching the best. Fox 10 News at 5.30. Well, you may have heard minimum wage employees are getting a raise at the beginning of the new year, part of Prop 206 that voters approved back in 2016. Inflation has a lot to do with how much more money people are going to get paid, but the raise in wages is tied to the cost of living. Matt Galka is live with how some businesses are handling this. Matt. Well, what's interesting about this bump is that 2021 seemed to be the year where employers were raised wages just to get workers to come back to work. That means a lot of businesses are already paying well above the minimum. If you're making minimum wage, you're getting a raise January 1st. Arizona's pay minimum goes from $12.15 to $12.80 an hour. The rise in wage partly due to inflation felt across the country for 2021. At Gabriella's restaurant in Scottsdale, owner and chef Anthony Barr probably won't notice the mandatory wage bump because he's paying his employees above that already. So we can retain our employees and have them here for a long term. We're always wanting to build for their future also, so. That's kind of our way on. Barr's philosophy? Adapt. Whether it's inflation or higher wages, he just tries to make it work. I change my menus regularly. I look for the best costs that are out there for me. Um, you know, chicken wings are high in price, so I do something different. I do chicken skewers. I want to enjoy where, I, where I'm at, and I want the same people that work for me to enjoy where they're at also. A number of businesses have already upped their wages this year in an attempt to lure workers back into the workforce. The Arizona Chamber of Commerce says the pay bump mandate might hit a rural area in the state harder. Rural Arizona might be a different story. Uh, workers are harder to come by, but your margins are tighter there. So we're really looking at some tough decisions in rural Arizona. And the bump means that Arizona will be number five in the country as far as top minimum wages. We're live tonight, Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.